This is a really, really incredible time in this forest. Oh my God. <laughs> another one. Found another one in perfect condition. Look at that at this rate. <laughs> We're gonna have enough for Sep, Porcini, Penny Bun Lasagna, one of my favorites. One of the most revered of all gastronomic species of fungi is the majestic Boletus edulis. Coming from a family known as the Boletes, which have pores underneath instead of gills, looks like a sponge, it commands whacking high prices in markets throughout the world and is one of the best eating of all the gastronomic species. Just seen some other foragers over there. I tried, tried to be polite, tried to say hello. You know, hello, good morning. I'm in Berlin, which is close to Berlin. Uh, but they were just eyes down, just ignored me because everyone's a little bit pissed off when they see other foragers in their hunting grounds. And I mean, we are all carrying knives. I've heard parts in East, parts of Eastern Europe, people get literally getting stabbed and putting my mushroom hunting spots because people can be that territorial. And lest we mention uh, Italy, the truffle grounds. Maybe controlled by those dudes that we like to watch in movies such as <coughs> Goodfellas. I didn't say that. It's possible though. Anyway, back to it. This is awesome. Awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that find. Belitus edulis, the penny bun, sep, porcini, stone, steinpilt, stone mushroom. That is one of the ultimate gastronomic species on the planet, and that is one of the nicest specimens I have ever found. Pure perfection. Thank you, Forrest. If the Forrest had a deck, I would be chowing down. Chowing down. Can I post that? Thank you, Forrest. That is a, what a gift. What a gift. <sighs> I'm quite excited. Known as penny buns in England because they look like a little bread bun, or seps in France, or the porcini, little pigs in Italy, steinpils in Germany, meaning stone mushroom, or the king belit in the United States, belitus edulis. I, I love one of my favorite all time mushrooms. Slippery texture, sweet, nutty smell. That, coupled with their seasonal elusivity, make them one of the ultimate finds in any forager's handbook. Two of the most perfect stein pills. Belitus edulis. Penny buns, look at that. That really does look like a little penny bun, little bread thing on top. That is just perfect, look at that. So this is why the, um, this is why the Germans call them stein pills. Where am I gonna put my damn camera? If you, bear with me, how's that? So if I, okay. So the cap, listen to this. Perfect, the stone mushroom. Rock hard when they're perfect specimens. In an abundant season, like the one we've just had, I like to go big with these, real big. I like to make porcini lasagna. Porcini lasagna. Okay, I'm really excited about this, guys. So here we have our beautiful porcini, Belita Sedgley, Stein pills, Seps, Penny Buns, whatever you want to call them, we've got them. And mwah, mamma mia, this is an exciting recipe. So what we are going to do, now you can make this uh, vegetarian, you could make this vegan by using oat milk for the white sauce, but I... I'm not vegetarian, so I'm going with uh, a bolognese as well as one of the layers. I made this bolognese, uh, it's 24 hour, very slow cooked bolognese with onions, garlic, red wine, minced beef, carrots, cooked very, very slowly, tomato puree for 24 hours, and now we have that. That's gonna be one of our layers. Do a video on that soon for you. Um, I'm gonna serve it with a beautiful green salad. I'm really into herb salads lately. It's gonna be a parsley and dill salad with uh, vinaigrette um, and I'm using two cheeses uh, I'm using mature cheddar and old Amsterdam blended together for my mind that is a perfect mix of cheeses for this um, you're gonna you're gonna need your red wine because when cooking lasagna you need red wine chin chin bottoms up let's cook
time to layer up. So I've hard fried the mushrooms so it just keeps their texture and browns them on the outside on a nice high heat and butter and oil. Like you just saw, um, we're gonna layer the bottom, we're gonna put a bit of, bit of bechamel on the bottom of our pan, then we're gonna put a layer of pasta, then we're gonna put a layer of the bolognese, then some more pasta, then some more bechamel, then the mushrooms, then more bechamel, and it's going into the oven on about 180 degrees for approximately 20 minutes, I think. Come back to you on that. Reggie, a quick Reggie taste test. What we want to know is, is it as good as Klaus's lasagna or in the ballpark? In the ballpark. <laughs> no pressure. Out of the ballpark. Way out of the ballpark. Sorry, Klaus. Yours is good, Tom. It's good, isn't it? I'll be, I'll be honest, there's a bit of sand left in the mushrooms. If you can ignore, ignore the sand in the mushrooms, it's I great. I didn't sand. Did I you not? It's amazing, no. Hell yeah. Reggie gets seconds. Yes. And that is it! That is a porcini lasagna. You, you could do it vegetarian, you can do it vegan, leave out the mincemeat. I've served it with a flat leaf parsley and a dill salad. Mummy, kids, let's eat! Guys, like, subscribe, more foraging content coming soon. Peace out one and all. Mush love, wallop.